Welcome to the FX Masterclass, and my name is Ernest Rowe. In this video, we're going to reassemble the FX Maverick. All right, let's get started. First, we install the valve, valve poppet assembly. Here's your valve seat. We use a little tool here. You got to know which way it goes where. We're going to insert it. Okay, got to verify it's seated. Always verify this seat because it's really tight down there. It has a shoulder to sit on. Make sure it's not cocked or anything. All right. Valve pin. Kind of push it in. Just slap like that. Your spring. And your retainer. Eleven mil, eleven mil wrench. Just snug. Put that to the side. Now we're going to reinstall the regulators on a bottle rig. Make sure you get the stack right. 11 washers. Comes in pairs. Except for the last one facing towards the regular body, like that. Your tool. Your click in there. Regular body. Ups, reg screw, bottom it out gently, back it out one and a half, two turns, around there. All right, now the second reg, same thing, got the same stack. Body. There. Greg screw. Now this one, you want to back it out, screw it all the way, well, so it's flush with the body. You know, kind of flush. Because we want to set the regular later, we want this wide open. So we could adjust the reg pressure on this one to use the gauge on the action to read the actual pressure. All right. After the first reg is set, then we turn this down and lower the reg pressure and set the second reg. All right, we go to uh, the plenum, screw onto the reg. Uh, there that plenum with the regular on it. Just hand tight. 
If you over tighten this, don't put this on a vise. It's going to be hard to remove. Unscrew them both. Your end cap. Not. Say it's hand tight. Bottle regular. And tight because uh, we're going to position this later. Now, slowly slide it in. Hand tight. Now, that's so why you got to back this up, rotate it this way. Now we're going to line the, the bottle rig. To really do that, we need to put the barrel on to keep everything aligned. All right, now it's easier to work with. All right. To prevent it from moving, we're going to tighten down the barrel screw. Just snug it up a little bit. I'm gonna give you a measurement here. Distance between here and here is 75 mil. Just gonna snug it up a little bit. The back one, just a hair so it won't move around. Then your bottle adapter, gotta line that one. Just rotate it, kind of eyeball it for now. Because we'll get the bottle on there, we'll get the proper clearance with the bottle. And with the your chassis, make sure. The bottle's not gonna rub against this. Not over tightening because uh, we're gonna put the scope rail next. Because the scope rail keeps this aligned also.
Just get, get them all threaded up. And when you're buttered up to, on a socket, kind of eyeball, make sure it's flush all the way around. You know, same gap here. And on the other side, make sure it's flush. If it's not cocked a little way, you gotta loosen this a little bit and tighten it down. I kind of want to loosen it a little bit and retightening it. Just in case I don't want to twist the scope rail because it's uh, one, two, three pieces trying to align itself. Then I tighten it back up. All right. Now we're going to install a cocking linkage. There. Could be a little tricky. You're lining a lot of <laughs> pieces here while you're inserting it. And while, then you gotta make sure the lever goes through a lever. Like that. Okay, you gotta push it a little bit. We'll align the probe later. After you align it, we'll clamp we'll clamp the cocking link lever. But that we'll align that later. Now We install the hammer. Goes like that. Push all the way in. All right. Now we're going to install our trigger. Top of shear. Goes in like this. So the spring goes right there. It goes in. Now you put your second pin, your limiter, trigger.
I'm good. All right. I'm going to install the pin uh, retainer, prevent the pin from the, uh, loosening and coming out. There's only three of them. Only lightly touch it on the pin. There you go. What's next? Your hammer, a little spacer, a little hammer weight spring guide, spring. Hammer spring adjuster. All it goes are one way. Now this could be tricky because you gotta balance this ball here. You need some kind of silicone, keep this ball bearing on top of the spring, like that. And uh, you wanna align the screw onto where it goes in and compress it. You feel this, wants to push it out, keep it in that position. Tighten it down. Lightly tighten it. Make sure you rotate it and make it the positive click for the ball bearings in proper position. You hear a click button. All right. Now let's set the, set the probe. See the handle? So, let's see. The quickest way, reel off this grub screw, had markings where you're originally in position. All right, let me loosen it up. Just get them lined up close as you can. Tighten down one screw lightly and close it. And watch when it's properly aligned, you'll see the screw here for the the probe, I mean the, the probe, a screw that removes the probe it has to be off forward a little bit, you can see it through here. All right. You have the, this you kind of be alignment here. You want this Allen a little further forward, but still inside the adjustment screw, the probe screw. All right, so I'm gonna loosen this. Push it forward with the lever forward. Push this forward just like that. You gotta do locked. Tighten it down gently. Then we're gonna do a cycle. When it's on your right, you can cock the gun. That's the quickest way to aligning it. When it, when it it cycles right and cocks, tighten the uh, next second screw. Then you verify you can still access the probe screw. You want to uh, remove the probe, remove the screw, 
the barrel has to be out and slide out the probe out this way. All right, install the chassis. I don't want to tighten this down yet because I want to make sure my bottle adapter is aligned properly. I get my bottle, just get it screwing a little bit without opening the valve. Just make sure the bottle's not getting gouged by the chassis. If it does rub on there, it's not a line. You can see it off center. You know, just loosen this clamp here and rotate a little bit. After there's a line, tighten it back up. This section doesn't need to be loosened. All right, tighten it down. And again, cycle it. All right, cheek press on. Figure to snug this barrel down. Bottle on. Take a while, I'll fill the whole boat, boat plenum. Yeah. 140 bars. There you go, the Maverick fully assembled and shooting. All right, any uh, suggestions, comment, drop the comment below, and we'll see you next video. Later.